thanks for staying with us. So we still have with us the Executive Director of Women's Rights and Health Project, Mrs. Boston and Rossi, and um, she'll be joining us on our hot topic of today. Um, <clears throat> our topic more is about domestic violence, because on this table we discussed it at different levels. And some of the issues we have raised is why women don't leave hmm. when, they are, when they are in abusive homes and with abusive spouses. Um, people say, why can't she just walk out? And women will tell you it was difficult to walk out. They stayed for the children. Mm. They will say they stayed for various financial and economic reasons. Um, but today, having somebody who's walked this path and helped lots of women through this process, hopefully we can get some insight into yeah. how women can <clears throat> get to the point of understanding that situation and making the right decision for themselves and for their family. Mm. So join the conversation, call us on the numbers on your screen. Or you can tweet to us at tweet, TVC Connect, please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Um, thank you again, Ma, for staying with us. The numbers you thank can call 081-076-416789-090-241-63440. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Ma, you see, one of the most painful part is hearing that a woman died. Mm. Maybe, maybe because her spouse beat her to death. <clears throat> and her family member said, we tried to get her out. Mm -hmm. We tried to tell her to leave, but she kept going back to him. And... Um, but sometimes when you hear women who have walked this path, they'll tell you how difficult it was. Not because but they didn't know what was right, but they had to consider other factors. In your journey, what has been the most prevalent stories you've heard? And how do you think women can find their way from these kind of situations? So I want to say that at one point in life, all of us here would have faced one form of mm. abuse, but depending on the level. Mm. So some people... <clears throat> are not able to, to understand that whatever level that abuse is coming, mm. it's not going to get less, but it's going to get worse, mm. depending on your reaction, mm. on depending on how you handle it. So uh, for me, I have seen a lot of um, women coming in and saying, no, I couldn't leave because of one reason or the other. But again, there are other fact There are several factors. One the socializing process of that child. Don't forget that what we find out is that we made the men, we raised the boys to be. <clears throat> Not true. Not true. You can't say sorry. Why would you do that? Don't take that and all that. Yeah. And then the guy is like, oh, let me, she's raised to always be apologetic, mm. to be able to, you know. And then our parents will not understand when she starts to say, no, now you can't do that to me. Right. Okay? So, because of that, she really don't have support. Mm. She really don't have support. Because if she has support, there are factors. One, is she economically dependent on the man? Mm. Then looking at the children. Okay, now, I, I, want, I don't want to mention a particular culture. I used to intentionally call, tell me your brothers. Give me your brother's phone or your mother's phone or whoever. I will call them. We were there at the wedding ceremony. He said, yes. I said, now this is the time to do the work that marriage has brought together. Please, can you provide an accommodation? For her. For her. So when a girl is seen, doesn't have accommodation to go, she cannot go back to her brother's house. Mm. Because the wife there will remind her, ah, me, I did my husband's house, so I don't know what people come sit down here, they do. I know. We are yeah. Friends will, you know, yeah. in the See, society, yeah. when you are not married, or you have left your marriage, it's like you have committed sin before God. Mm. Mm. And so there are a lot of factors. Okay, how would they go to school? How would they feed? It's going to be worse now because of the economic meltdown yeah. that we are mm. facing. Mm. Okay? Mm. Then that's another one. Another one is that I always tell people that it's not just enough to say, oh, he has proposed to me, it's okay. There are other things you look into. Thank you, Mom. It's not just the facial look, the family name, and all that. Mm. There are more to it. So I think that uh, what I will support, if there is a good support system, yeah. nobody is supporting divorce. divorce. But pre please, try as much as possible to separate for a while. Mm. Let two people think, mm. because they are both adults. You know, who can decide whether they want to be there or not? Yeah. And then another thing is that you always see the red flag. flag. Mm. It's there. Yeah. Okay. There is no abuse that starts with beating first. Mm. It's either 
emotional abuse. Mm. I'm not talking to you, or you know, we are not going to have a relationship for a very long time. It's emotional abuse, verbal abuse, and all that. But the one that people see is, is the head Blue. bleeding, and the woman is. So when you see all this red flag, mm. it's a time to say no. Let's put some of these things. And I think a time has gone, come where the government should not just be waiting for registry. Mm. To wait for them to come to registry. Okay. They should okay. be going out to interact with people <laughs> to tell them what are those things. I've been a marriage counselor in a church for 28 years or 27 years precisely. And I used to say, Remove it. Do you know, what is it you are looking at? We don't want to raise the boys to understand this is their role. Mm. There are responsibilities, there are roles within marriage. Yeah. What is your responsibility? Because okay. we just yeah. feel it is this woman's role. Is this, are there any, the there's that anything the that yeah. doesn't work that way, yeah. you Let are wrong. Well, I ahead. love it because you said so many things, but <laughs> now I just want to you know, grab you and let's <laughs> streamline it. You talked about when young girls are being proposed to, what they should be looking at beyond the name and how the person looks. Can you tell us? If a young girl, like maybe if you could even list it, what are the things that she should be looking out for? One, two, three, four, five. Let me give you an example of a girl, a daughter, an adopted daughter of mine now. She's based in UK. When I was doing that marriage course, I told you, she came. The guy was not there. The guy was in somewhere. And then after some years, she was going to get married. And she came and said, excuse me, I need to see you. I need to communicate. So we went to an eatery just to see that. And she told me, this is what she's saying. That the, she has a, you know, those, those uh, children whose one of the legs is a bit yeah. shorter. shorter yeah. than her. So said the guy who just looked at her. He is a pharmacist. Yeah. I mean, she is a pharmacist. And the guy, the guy is a medical doctor. Okay. I said, he would look at her and say, oh, God, is it me that is going to marry this guy? She ah. her job. No, so... And then he will beat her, he will slap her, any little thing, he's angry. Meanwhile, the guy was staying in her house for hey, internship hey. here in Lagos. <laughs> so when she came to meet me, I said, OK, so now let me describe it for you. You intend to marry this guy. They have done an uh, introduction. And they are planning to get married. The mother is already happy. Exactly. But those things I told them during uh, when, uh, the House marriage me. course, mm -hmm was what she was looking at. So she came to ask me. So I told her all that. So I asked her one simple question. I said, how long do you intend to remain in this marriage? Simple. I love it. She said she doesn't know, maybe 10 years, 20 years, and all ah. that. I said, so how often does it slap you? Mm -hmm. Let's count. She said, maybe once in a month, and all that. So let's multiply. multiply. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, truly a cat thank you. <laughs> so I said, ask her how long? Hmm. So in this circumstance now, this girl is not economically dependent on the man. Mm, so she but can. it's just that. So, Society. and I invited the guy too. And I realized that the guy was a victim of parental uh, uh, abuse. The father was a military man. And when he comes, he put the mother in the guardroom to hey. confess where he has been for several years that he was not at home. Oh, cool, so cool. when you see that, and I discovered, and I was trying to cancel him, he was not <laughs> listening. So the girl left the marriage. Of course, the guy get, got married. And at the end of the day, it's the man marriage or something. Because that guy Recipe. has not healed. He has mm. not been, he has not Strong. been, you know, counseled yeah. or taken to, into a place where he will see yeah. Yeah. A, 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 a kind of rehabilitation to know that, come, I cannot beat my daughter. Then another thing is the fact that how do you relate your two children? Mm. The boy child and the girl child, how do they relate mm. at home? Do you allow your male child to beat your daughter? Daughter, for any reason, say, well, you know you is a boy. No, mm. it's, not, mm. it's not an so excuse. It's fear. We still raise children that way. No, people are raising children wow. that way. Sister, is it you that is asking? We still have with us um, Mrs. Bosse and Rossi. Um, Bissi had a question. Go ahead. Yes, so let's talk about the uh, religious aspects mm. and how religion has contributed to what a lot of people have gone through in marriages and i'm happy that you have counseled in the church so we've had people who were going through this sort of thing and they will go to either the pastor's wife or the re religious leader's wife for counseling and you hear things like you must stay and make your marriage work you must avoid making him upset you must cook for him you must do this uh, god hates divorce and all of that how do you think this has contributed to a lot of women staying in abusive relationship instead of you know, looking for something that would probably save their lives. We had um, a, a, an issue recently. Osinachi. Where, Osinachi, exactly. So I want to say that domestic violence, 
does not know no any religion. It's not a respecter of ethnic divide or religion. Or it happens everywhere, yeah, yes. at workplace, everywhere. But however, uh, I've always said that even the pastor's wife is facing an abuse. So how would you hmm. go and make that mama to counsel you? Hmm. Because it's, 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 it's a place that says you must not fail. You must be seen to be, you know, be very good. You know, you stay on top of, you, you know, issues. So, yes, the, the, I think misrepresentation of the text of the Bible, most especially, because I'm not, you know, the other side, is the fact that they said uh, uh, women should be submissive. That's usually the quote. You go to weddings, you see the... Emphasis. But you see very well that it's even started by saying, man, love, love your yeah. wife as Christ loved the, the church, church and died for the church. Yes, yeah. give himself. So it's, it's not about don't divorce. But they said uh, uh, the death do up us. They didn't say you should kill me. <laughs> they didn't say it's the man that should kill the woman. Right. So I think the issue is that there's misrepresentation of the text and they should balance yeah. that, that preaching of making the woman to just be. So in this case, I'm a helpmate. Go, yeah, do you go to uh, the church, for instance? Oh, wow, definitely. I have, for example, in the whole of Lagos State, I have 87 community structures, including Christian and Muslim uh, group, that we are interacting with, that we are talking with. We are sharing the, the, the law of the land covers everybody. Mm. So if they understand the law, it's not about saying, oh, no, don't preach this, don't preach that. We are telling them this is what is good for you. When the home is in turmoil, the children cannot thrive. Right. The children will not be able to do anything. Let me take you to the children. I wanted to ask you, <laughs> I wanted to ask you about pedophilia, um, where we have... Re um, we have relationship between husband and children and wives are aware or even in cases, strange cases we've seen on social media where even the mother and the son and we, how, how can family members, because this is double trauma, the woman is being um, the victim, the survivor in this situation, the young person is being is going through trauma and then in most cases the partner in that marriage is wondering, I can't report my, my spouse. spouse to the police. How can I relate or deal with this situation and not be seen as family will not look at you as, especially after the case of where the Dr. Femi and people calling out the right. woman, celebrating the woman. So I have seen cases like that, countless cases of father, you know, having incest, having yeah. sexual knowledge with the children countless and all <laughs> that. Sure, there's a case that we, you know, with support of other organizations, he's in jail now. And the woman didn't want to leave. The only reason why she was coming to report to me was that the man is not providing. He's not bringing. So it took me time to ask, you have a three-year-old girl that the, the man has defied? Ew. You have a year and six months old child that the man has also Oh, and you know this. So it took her time to come, excuse me, ma, is because I don't know how to go about it. <laughs> so there is need for constant information as to this is what you should do. Mm -hmm. And most times they believe that if they report, their marriage is finished. And I used to ask them, is that marriage? Can exactly. you really define that as marriage? marriage? Mm -hmm. What is marriage? Marriage is companionship, partnership, where you are able to move together and interact together, and then plan for the future so that at old age, you can sit down you know, and tell stories. You see your children, mentor them, because God is mentoring us every day. Mm -hmm. That's why we were born, and we are there. The only reason why you and I are still on this earth is because of the children and the people we are going to touch their yes. lives, not because of us. Yes. So why would you come and then raise children that are not, and then before you knew it, he come, excuse me, my please, don't talk about it. The family are very strong in terms of uh, witchcraft. They are going to do this, and they are the, the family, they are very rich. They ah. are going to, of course, they came after her. And I said, no, you people will have to kill me this uh, case. So we will have to see to the end of the day. And so what we did was to make sure that that woman got support. Because most times, when they don't have anywhere to go to, mm. you know, 
There are some people that are, have been taking a way to go and relax somewhere that the family don't even know where they are because if the family know they were encouraged, are you the first person? Mm. Even your great grandfather, they beat even me. your children, they beat mm. me when I was young. They, they, it happened Fine. to me. Because so of... when you see all this, you realize that. So the children lack of also need, yeah, there's lack of, the children need to heal. So mm -hmm. that's why you have irritated research, uh, research, social support center. Why the case is in court, we want to constantly interact with it. You come and see, uh, you know, awesome. counselors, psychotherapists, making sure that that child heal. And if it's possible, change their school. If it is possible, you know, interact with other family members so that they will, because they might not, the children might not know justice. They don't mm. know what is justice. Mm. Oh, where is daddy and all that. But mm. if you are able to counsel them to live, Without this whole mess, you realize that like we'll have a better yeah. society. See, there's, there's, there's a scenario I'd like to paint for you. So a woman who is empowered, she works in a bank, she, she's making fairly good money. Her husband is way richer. Um, she can't afford to take care of her children by herself. I mean, she can afford the money, but it is better when her husband is there. The lifestyle, the children go to a certain private school, and then the man beats her up and she wants to leave. But she's afraid <coughs> that if I leave this marriage, my children's lifestyle will change. Our community, our circle will change. Mm -hmm. and. I, I, will, I would suffer. I'm willing to sacrifice my comfort for my children so that they are happy here. And the father is a fantastic father to these ones. I mean, he loves them. Husband. He's a perfect father. But he's a horrible husband to me. So I'm willing to stay in this abusive marriage for the sake of my children. When a woman tells you that, how do you advise her? So the issue is that she's not actually uh, staying there for the children. Yes. She's staying for herself because she's going to rent ch children who are monsters. Mm. Who will, will give her more problem at old age. Oh, Do you understand? Family. She's going to have children who, in their married life, they are going to be bullies, they are going oh, to be, yeah. you know, if it's the it lady, is. they are going to be very insultive, they are not going to, so it is not helping them mm. to, 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 to stay. So in circumstances like that, it's for her to see reasons. Mm. You see when we are having what we call a, 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 a um, uh, we call them uh, therapy sessions yeah. with, with most people. You see women say, I didn't understand this is it. You know, I thank God I had to leave because some people come, success stories also come to share their own story to yeah, say, Bible. I thank God I took that. There are some people after a while, the man realizes that this is what, after going to therapy, the man will come because we also do mediation because we believe that sometimes the men don't know. Mm. They don't know what they are doing is wrong. So they really? need to, yes, they don't know. They don't know, they are, are also are victims yeah. mm. of the societal the neglect that they mm. face. So we don't blame them totally. Mm. So we also make sure that we counsel them and all that. But for those who are very brutal, mm. we make sure that they go to where to settle down for it. Let me take, let me take <laughs> Chichi and chill. come to Mariam. Chichi, thanks for calling your live. Good, Good morning. morning. Yes, right. please, go ahead. Please, I'd like to have um, Madam if I want to go to talk to her outside the program. Okay. Um, I'm sure our producer will see your number and um, they'll get your number down and they'll send it to, they'll send her contact to you. And I think her handle, okay, is, um, what's your handle on, on Instagram? Maybe they can reach out. WAP. Um, WAP. W-A-H-R-A-H-P. Yes, W-H-R-A-H-P. H-R, okay. So we'll try. Mary, we're going to ask a question. Yes, I was going to. I wanted to ask you about um, online abuse because you had mentioned it mm. earlier. But I'm really, I, I would like to take us back to the sort of men that we're raising, that men do not even understand that when they are abusing their spouses or being abusive towards people, they don't realize that. What, what is it in our culture, what is it in our society that encourages this sort of upbringing? Okay, what, so don't we learn from our past? How, what is it that we have done before that we think is good to keep repeating and repeating? Mm. So we are living in a patriarchal society where the man is raised to be the one that takes decisions that dictates what happens. And it takes a lot of time. In my 30 years of working as a development community-based person, I've realized that this thing takes time to grow. It's a behavioral change issue okay. that they need to change the behavior okay now if, if, if you raise that child, just like you mentioned of people stay in the marriage because of status because of thing and you don't want to leave you don't want to that child is not going to the male male children in that relationship are not going to come up and be seeing their wives talking to them anyhow mm -hmm. at all so i'm saying it. that it's as a result of long term of socialization so we need to start re-socializing our children yeah. to understand that Beating your sister, I always say, Lester, if you can't beat your sister and you settle it, and they cannot beat their wife. Mm. Because they will find the girl 
No, why should I beat my sister? Why should I beat my wife? Yeah. And then I think I'm also talking to youths. Mm -hmm. Why are you getting into marriage? Do you understand the issue of marriage? No. <laughs> Ma marriage is not... For children. It's, it's not for... Yeah, it's not for children. And that's why they say above the age of 20. So there are basic things you should have. Marriage goes with responsibility. Mm. And that responsibility is about resources. You have to have resources. Two, you have to be able to make sure that you have plan B in everything you do. You will see some women say, hey, he said I shouldn't work, so I'm sitting down at home. And down the line, you now said, oh, he's, he, you know, he's taking me as a, 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 you know, a slave. Why would he not take his slave? When he look at you, he's the owner of the chair, he's the owner of the TV, he, everything, he talks everything. So those are the things. What are those things? Have you asked what is his, uh, what is the level of aggression? Mm. Does he, how does he deal with this? <clears throat> you know, when he's angry. How and you, you can do, quantify all this when he's, when you are still in the relationship. Let me take our final call here because we have to wrap up very soon. Joe from Ikoi. Thanks for calling, Joe. Yeah. Good Good morning. Morning. morning, sir. Very nice time to hear from you. Um, my concern is that uh, we are, the madam there is only talking about the abuse of women. <laughs> the abuses are both sides. Yeah. In my nation, I have come across so many women abusing men in the very type of way. Mm, okay. They are even more worse than what men do. Mm. They are terrible. The boys of men are crying. So please, all I want is to, I want to you balance to balance it. it. Don't yeah. make me look at me. It's the only men that are speaking to me. Right. Okay. Thank you very much, Joe. Okay, Point so, taken. Yeah. yeah, just let me, you are very right. But let me tell you why over years we have been talking about uh, the women. Mm -hmm. It is because the, 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 the statistics have proven that the women are more vulnerable. And you agree with me. So, but you see, we are also saying that, for example, in my organization, I have almost about 3,000 men in Alimosha that are SGBV advocates. Because we know that we need to talk about the men and understand that this issue is not just about women alone. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, the narrative is there that we need to talk to men as well. But again, you also discover that it's the socialization over years. Mm. The men are going through abuse. They will not cry because they have asked them not to cry. Yeah. Mm. Men don't cry. Don't cry. Why are you crying? Are you a man? Are you a, a girl? Mm. So it's the reason why people don't talk. And so we are also beginning to say men should speak out because we must balance it. But I'm telling you that the reason why it has been the girls is because the statistics as of today is that women are more you know, in the face of abuse than men. Would you say a type of abuse also? Uh, are women able to physically yeah. abuse yeah. men? Yeah. Or is it emotionally? So men are more faced with emotional abuse, yeah. uh, verbal yeah. abuse. Yeah. You know, look at you. Are you a man? So everybody, you know, that kind of... Oh, That's God, true. that thing you, kills a man. You know, yeah. 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 do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. But the women, the women are faced with both everything physical. complete. Yeah. Yeah. They have, yeah. they yeah. have both we have to wrap up. All that. Honestly, we have to wrap up because there's so many questions. Okay. So many. Oh, but we're not done yet, but we have to bring you back again because the truth is that we haven't discussed this in a while. We just lament yes. as women. Yes. But it's always good to have a professional in the mix who can give us insights to how we can go about it. But we'll still bring you back, ma'am to shed some more light on other areas. So it's a parenting issues. Yes, very um, important. At what point should you leave? Because mm -hmm. someone will tell you that verbal abuse is not abuse. You can still, if you are verbally being abused I mean, or you are emotionally abused, abuse. you can still manage it. But, so we'll abuse. come back, we'll bring you back to come and tell us, when do you leave? When, when, when is that red light out? <laughs> or when is it amber? <laughs> so you start preparing to leave. But yeah, that's all we can take on the show. Thank you so much for, for joining us. <laughs> Let's go on a break now. We'll come back on to our final segment of the day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back.